Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a rubber band gun out of Legos that looks kind of like this. Okay, so to start off, you're going to need three of these big gear wheels. Um, let's see. Five of these. Two of these, three two centimeter axles, fourteen connector pegs, three of these bracket things. One five centimeter rod axle, I mean, one eight centimeter axle. Oh, sorry, three five centimeter axles, one four centimeter axle, one three centimeter axle, one of these. Five holes, two of these pieces, the links with holes, two of these little yellow pieces, and six of these connectors. Okay, now let's start with the base of the gun. We're going to use one of the gear wheels, the 5 centimeter axle, stick this into here, try to center it, and put it in the second hole from the top here. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna take one of the brackets put it two holes take a connector peg make sure you put it in this way and whoops wrong hole and put it in two holes away from the gear Now we got that done. We're going to take one of our 5 centimeter axles and put it into the other end of the bracket. This is going to act as our um, trigger. So, then we will take another one of these. But before we do that, we're going to take this one. Put two, put two of the connector pegs into here, at the very end, on the other side. Stick this on. Then we're going to put on the other rod. Like, ugh. Okay, like that. Now for you, those of you who want to only be able to shoot one rubber band, I'll show you how to do that right now. Take your rubber band, wrap it around the peg at the front of the gun, wrap it around the gear at the back, just a little below the peg. Make sure this peg is all the way back. If it's not, release the trigger. Pull it, then put, pull the trigger back up. It might come up a little, but that's okay. And you just pull your trigger and shoot. Okay. Now for those of you who want three, 
I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the handle. You're going to take one of your connector pegs and put it in two holes from the top like that. Now you're going to take one of these, one of your blue pieces, put a connector peg, I mean an axle, two centimeter axle, through the axle hole. Now you're going to take two connector pegs and stick them in on the other side. Make sure you do it on the other side. Because when you go to stick the other half on, you have it the wrong way. You won't have the real gun. Now, you're going to take your three centimeter axle and stick it so just a little bit is coming out. Then you're going to take another connector peg and put it in the fifth hole from the bottom. Like that. Oh, wrong way. Now you're going to take your five hole connector thing and put it over those two pieces. Then you're going to take your other blue thing, put it on the other side, like that. Then that's your handle. But for those of you who want to be able to shoot three rubber bands, I'm going to show you how right now. You're going to take a connector peg and put it in two holes to the left from this axle. Like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, except to the right. Like that. Then you're going to take your two white bricks put them on both sides like that now that's not very useful for anything it's just for stability now you're gonna take it and put your gear so that it's one two three four five away from the brick and you're going to use your two centimeter axle put and put it on the gear wheel so one two three four five and it doesn't have to be perfect over here that doesn't really matter as long as it's not more than halfway then you're going to take another connector peg and put it in same thing like we did here here put it two from the gear then put the black peg on put another axle into it then We're going to take our six pieces that look like that. Where did my six piece go? Oh well, for now we're just have to gonna gonna have to continue without it. You're gonna take two, put them on this big axle. 
I'm going to take them, put them in like that. Then, put this on here like that. Now, I'm going to take the other two, as you might have guessed, put them on the other side. Now, the other side is the same thing. Just got to take these, line them up with one another. Stick that in, put this on, and put this on here, and put the and put the axle or last axle into there. Now we're going to take the two connector pegs and stick them in these holes like that on both gears. Then you're going to release the triggers, pull them back, oops, and now you've got the gun, but before you, before it's finished, you gotta take these, the last two, and put them on these sides. Then you're gonna take the yellow things, put them on the remaining space. Now they don't have to be exactly even. And now you have a triple shooting rubber band gun. And firing is the same thing. Oops, wrong trigger. Firing is the same thing for all of them. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a triple shooting rubber band gun. Bye.